Alright, I missed a little, like, screen on the start. But I guess that's okay. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Hero Core. Bit of a take two. Uh, I'm going to be recording this actual official first episode. Assuming you have not experienced the audio-only podcast version. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. So there's a game. We got options here. This is what it looked like. Um... I mean, I don't have any reasons not to... I don't know what simple map means, but I like to having a good map, you know? Show boss hint? Yeah! Uh, gamepad, uh, it doesn't work, and I looked it up on the internet, and it turns out X input controls don't work. And I didn't notice this yesterday, it's language! You got an English, then you got retro, which is funny. Um... I am not going to be using that, though. Maybe when we return to do, like, the second one. But, uh, actually I found that having the text there being pretty useful. So yeah, Hero Core. Never played it before, but I al always was interested in playing it. Like, uh, the aesthetic extremely appealed to me. Like, that much is pretty clear. So, uh, that's where I was the first time. Uh, I guess we'll start a new file right here. And yes, we get a chance between normal and hard. So Hero Core! Apparently the game is fairly short. Like, it is a short game, it's a small game, which, fine, absolutely fantastic. However, if you look here, different world, right? Hard enemy... So, uh, normal mode and hard mode are completely different maps and stuff. So we will be playing through the game twice. Alright, here's the story part. So this is gonna make references to the first game, because Hero Core is the second game in the series, which is just called Hero. A powerful machine warlord, Cruiser Tetron. Pretty rude. Go into the asteroid core, feed Tetron, left nothing behind but metal dust. Uh-huh. And have once again the new base. Wow, they just collected all that dust. They had a, they had a vacuum available. Got it all up together, and they're gonna glue it all back together. That's us, a little ship, going towards this, like, small mound of dust, of dirt. Like, you can see it's a very, very small planetoid. Can I find a way to forever stop his return? So the game is fantastic at explaining itself. So, again, I'm just gonna let it do that. Let it just, you know, enjoy the view here. We got level, we got heat. Uh, yeah, move. Shoot and shoot, and you press those, you just gotta do that, and then you can turn around, and you can turn it off. You cannot continue beyond here, but you can move like that if you want. That is a little safe zone. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, list of my items. To the right, I guess they mean like up there, like where there's a syringe there. Only my level one blaster, so yeah, so saving, very clear. You do that, there you go! And look at that. If you go here, you can warp by holding both together, go like whoosh, and you, you can go there if you want. It's pretty good, we'll go back to I me. Mean, we got kind of like a weird world map up there, that's fine. We got a sponge-like substance right there. The text is gone. Uh huh, if I can find a destroy a boss machine. Okay, I somehow forgot that, so that, so that's the level. If you can find a boss machine, uh huh. You can escape, or you can do the map, so, look at that, that's the map. I feel like we can clearly see that it's divided in sort of worlds. Uh, and you got very clear paths, you got a save, you got where we're at, there's a question mark up there, Tetron is our main goal. And, uh, yeah, or core computers, there's a question mark there, I don't know why there specifically. If you press escape, that's when you get, like, these menus, so we can continue, come on again. Uh, we get all these fun stuff, including an information. Look at that, it, it repeats us the things, except more. Uh, I think it's like, outright a repeat, right? I think so, no. You can't firing overheat, and then there's blade and there's suit. Uh, we don't know what it is that. I should protect me because there's an overheat cooling system. Fantastic! You gotta go to go back and continue because you don't really have a button, I don't think, to, go to press buttons. Uh, liquid metal, please don't overheat me. It's also a little robot that opened the door. So, yeah, it's like, whoosh, oh no, it's too hot. You can go to puddle too. See, you can't fire. 
can't fire while while you're glowing and while your heat meter has anything in it. Nothing to say on this screen. There you go. Welcome to Violent City, where a big worm gets tall. And it's like, alright, well, okay. Let's look at the world and understand it all around us. Yeah, but see that guy? I can't get to him. I can't. Already I'm playing things in a different order. I'm not doing it on purpose or anything. But yeah, but I remember this room. Yeah, like, I'm gonna at either have the ability to attack down, through walls, or while I'm overheating. Uh, all of which is false at this point. Enemies respawn as soon as you return in a room, it looks like. And there are dots that follow me as I fly. Little shuriken says hello, and there's more sponges in the way. Dang sponge, I can only go one way, but I can go ahead and save it. This is what the world looks like. It's pretty good. I recall this is a, uh, yeah, no. I don't I recall wrong. I forget what's here. All right, well, there's like a generator, you know, creating a little bodies. Uh, there we go, now a door is open. We can go, oh, look at that, it's an orb. Check it out, it is orb. I don't know it's throwing ninja stars. That is definitely a decision for a projectile for a space orb to throw. All right, just so, okay, so. Then see, like, look, I, I like to empty out a room if I can the first time I see it. Beyond that, though, so normally there'd be a laser wall there. Those don't do anything, but if you shoot it, it explodes into shurikens. That is the jolly of life. So, yeah, there'd be a barrier here normally. Uh, I saw it the first time I played. Now it's gone. Little buddies floating around. That's my health. So the orb does not count as a boss monster or whatever because my level hasn't leveled. Uh oh. Uh, it's kind of scary. I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? It doesn't matter. Tube worm up there having a lot of fun. I don't have any reason to go on that side of the screen. Whoops. I'm playing badly here. That's fine. That happens. As far as I can tell, the only way to heal is to go at a save zone. Check it out, we're at a place. So, so here, look, it says go down. I can go down. I could go down here. But sponge is in the way. That darn gosh sponge. Always sponging it up for everyone. There's a lot of people here. A lot of little shrimps just kind of shrimping it out. I don't know why I feel compelled to clear out a room the first time I'm there. If I can. No. And also I didn't with the warm zone. So, oh, 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 oh. Look at that, where we are, it's kind of dangerous, yo. So there's bombs, but that would go back down there. And you can go up there and leave the safety of this area, but maybe we won't. Stick it out what's over here. Well, once again, like I can go here and destroy a gun and shoot a gun in the face, but I can't destroy that guy below. So, you know, we're kind of being led forward here. But here's a save, so that's pretty good. So now we're at the army storage. Let's see, but because like we get one play place, every door either there's something, either a door we can't open, sponges in the way, or I have to shoot a guy in molten metal. That's just not gonna happen. Welcome to the mine room. Mind your manners. That's a thing I just said without irony. I will not apologize. I will call you Rice Krispies. I don't know why I would do that. What's that? Oh, it's a little fish that had to awaken. Again, sponge wall. See, this makes it very blatant. That sponge will be dealt eventually. Now we've got all these guys stuck temporarily. Or permanently, I don't know. They're just stuck in these, like, weird little, like, wall zones. It's just, it's just wall place. That little bug will never be free. And that is true, so I could have gone also this way. Whoa, check it out, it's mines and guns and you! Great, fantastic, check it out, it's a generator guy, but a bug is there, being kind of buggy. I don't know why, whoa, so yeah, he blew up. These guys are walled up, nothing much to it. I'm gonna pray them, look, if this is a game, I'm going to look at a map all the time. It's one of these. Uh, okay, so I guess we're kind of, well, like, yeah, there's moving walls, there's stuff, you know, there is stuff. I can't deny with the stuffness. I can't go there yet. But I can destroy the world if I want to. If I feel the need. 
Yeah, Zorn's Road will always remain open. Once you open a door, no one's shutting it down. Well, check it out. It's Mr. Orbilon. I li I don't remember where they were. It is entirely luck that I keep getting into orbs before I get to their barriers. I swear. There you go. I did it. You can go inside a little mother brain zone if you want. Shake it up a bit. Then you say hello and you leave immediately. Pretty rude if you ask me. See, this is where a barrier would be. One day we'll see a barrier. You'll see it's not worth talking about. It's just lines. But that is fine. Where am I now? I don't know. There's crustaceans everywhere I go. The little robot guy. I don't need to destroy you. You don't get money or nothing or anything. It's, it's a compilation that I should keep away. One way elevator just to say. Hi there, buddy. Go on your way. Oh, I dropped it on my head. I did not feel it. I'm getting real close to that question mark now. Time to ask some questions. First, it's robot and gun. Robot Gun Parade, uh, welcome to New Zealand, uh, prom, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, like, I like the map up there, it's kind of funny, I don't know if it's very useful. It gives you a guy, look at that, it's, it's boss of army storage, oh my god, it's a big hamburger, shoot the core. Yeah, it's like straight out of the gradius, this boss got his own health, boss doesn't move all that much, he doesn't do a lot, you know, he's tired. He's a very tired boss. No one really came here before and it's like, Oh, I don't want to get up. I'm gonna shoot some things at you. You got a banana? We're too skinny to be a banana. Blade! Hold any fire key for a short while and release! Cuts dirt. And the flex small any shot. Yeah, so that's dirt. It's not sponge. Whatever. I'm gonna call it what I'm gonna call it. All right, well, might as well recreate what I so what I did yesterday is I got to here and I was like, all right, I can now clear sponge. I can probably, ooh, that's a lot of robots that live here. So what I did is I kind of went around here and then I stopped before uh, going into another world. And so let's, yeah, let's try and kind of cover all the grounds I covered. It's basically going around these rooms and not being able to do much, but it's good to see. Got moving white box. Oh man, if you check that out, it's boss strap. Box, box, box. And there's a barrier that I don't know how to unlock. Yeah, the boxes only open up when, um, when they're, they're not moving. See, here is a... Oh, but these barriers are open. You need to be inside them to be able to ride a bottle. Oh, check it out, it's an orb. Oh man, it could be multiple orbs for multiple worlds. Unbelievable. I don't know what is a space station doing at the grocery store. That's just accurate. All right, there you go, you're done now. You did it, somewhere there's a barrier. Spoiler, it's not the barrier we just saw. Uh, so I don't know what is up with that. Yeah, I am level one. You can tell when I destroyed Hamburger Army. <laughs> the Burger Army. That guy. He's a bird. Yeah, this, so we saw this wall before. You cannot interact with. Uh, my blade does not cut through iron. Check it out. We can box. I'm inside a box being dragged around. It's the best thing since sliced pudding was found. Check it out. Oh, but here it's open. Oh, and this would lead to uh, the entrance to world uh, above. Is there a save here? Uh, there's not any immediate save, so I'm not going to go there immediately. I think that is too much. So is there anything else? Oh, there's an up up there I might want to see here in world two. Yeah, I mean, it says literally level two. Like, you know, it's if you're gonna label, like, I've gotta use it. I just didn't go there? Is it because it was things in the way or I just didn't go? Because it's one way. Huh. Like, unless there is a way to go through... Um... That. I don't think there is. It's like, you wanna go up there and it's gonna go... No. Like, no. There is no way. No way, no how. Maybe on day I'm gonna be able to go through these walls or something. I don't know. Or we're gonna warp there. I don't know. Point is, I don't know. So, yeah, I've retraced my steps. 
Okay, so what I want to do next time is uh, we are going to use our new blade to cut our way and try to get as much done out of level one before we start poking around level three. Ooh, I wonder if I, I press an extra, maybe that thing is opened up. I, sh I should check real quick, I think. No, it's still not open. Well, it's flashing. Whoa! So if it's flashing, I'm guessing that means that it's on its way out. Oh, there's a new question mark there. So it's telling me where I want to go next. But like I said, I want to finish up uh, what I did in World 1 first. Maybe it's not something I can do. Maybe it's something I can. I don't know. We're going to find out. All right, so recording, I went with the most basic possible. Everything should be fine. Everything should be okay. Ah, this game is pretty fun. Like, it's very basic, but... Like, it's because it goes down to the very, 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 very central nucleus of what it's trying to do. And I think it's effective at that.